Welcome to the programming. This is Jill. I did today go to the store and I got myself some bananas, some onions, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, some spinach, some flowers, some avocados, a basil plant, King's Hawaiian rolls, new lunch meat, eggs, and flowers. First of all, I'll show you what I'm doing here. First of all, we have these flowers that I have already pre-taken off the nasties. I believe that they make your flowers rot faster and in order to get the maximum length remove these cute little leaves. The leaves will never know what they're missing. Most of the time because they get soggy and they get drenched under water and um, pretty much they just start rotting. Also, when it's these tiny ones on the side that nobody is going to notice that they're there and probably going to get unappreciated underneath the water, I take those right off too, okay? Same thing with the lilies drenched under the water. As you can also see, as you can also see, I have the vase ready. I have a top fresh ready. They come with my delightful flowers and I already have my little stragglers. And guess what? I want to make Oops, guess what? I want to make this one adorbs as well. And I already had one of the lily wannabes um, not work out. So we're just going to go go right ahead and add that adorableness to that adorableness. And then this will come out and be its own little bouquet. Okay? But right now we'll set these aside. Now you're going to take your top fresh. I have already put a little bit of water in here, about here. I'm going to add my top fresh. I use a little bit colder than room temp water. This is good that this packet is nice and fluffy and frisky and fresh because then I don't have to dip it in and fish it out and strain. So now what you're going to do is I am going to decide that these and these, oh yes, and these are all roughly the same style and need to be dispersed coloration throughout the bouquet inside of the vase, okay? Then you're going to take this and you're going to measure down and say, okay, this is right. We're thinking about right here is where we're going to trim them off. Now, I'm going to just keep my marker. I see right where I am and I'm going to do each one individually at an angle. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two, ah, 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 ah. Three, ah, 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 ah. Four, ah, 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 ow. Five, ah, ah, ah. And six, ah, ah. Okay, so then we're just going to put it in here as such and so and disperse the colors throughout the land of the Voss land, okay? Then what we're going to do 
is we're going to take these two focal point flowers and we are going to cut them down to just about the same size. So two focal point flowers. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, two. So this seems to me like a very good place to start and put a, the white one. There's no white in this bouquet yet. And then over here, along this side, is the best place that I think would be for the yellow. And then you kind of just pull it out a little tiny bit and bingo, bango, bingo. What a gorgeous little show off. Show off on God's green earth what he created. I'll mess with it a little bit. And then you have these delightful, oh shoot. 